Hey, it's Matt. Welcome back to another tool haul video. Today I have some antique store stuff here and some thrift store stuff. So let's get into this. Start from the left to the right. I got about 60 bucks into this. Um, the bulk of that is right in this region here. Uh, so let's get to it. We got a Herbrand chisel here. 406. Made in the USA. And it's got a little bit of damage to it, but uh, I fixed worse, so I'm not too worried about that. Not a big deal. Got a number two Phillips Craftsman WF Long Daddy. 41296CWF. Um, this one's in really good shape. Uh, it looks like it's brand spanking new. Maybe it was used once and just rolled around in the toolbox for a little bit, but lightly. You know, a little bit of delamination on there, but not too bad. So I figured I'd snag that up. That was three bucks at the antique store. Um, this one is a Snap-on. Uh, it's a Par-V RGP-84. And I got this at the antique store, and I paid probably way too much for it. Uh, it was five bucks, but, you know, whatever. It's a Snap-on on it. The tip is good. Uh, I don't think I have a number four. Don't know that I'd come across it too often, but, you know, it's a snap-on. I got it now. What the hey. All right. Now these guys here, we have some Exolite long nut drivers, and uh, I had to snag these up. Uh, they're just in too good a shape. And uh, I paid four ninety five dollars each for these, so I paid for them, but... Uh, you know what, um, I'm probably going to use them. I know I said I don't really, never really got into nut drivers. I would just use a socket on a spinner, you know, but uh, I don't know. I like these. I like the color of the handles and everything, and they're just in excellent shape. They're all, all in the same shape. Just look really nice. Need minimal, minimal cleanup on them. So I had to snag those up. We got a 3 8 uh, 11 30 seconds, 5 16 and a 9 30 seconds. And then uh, this stuff I got at the thrift store here. I think these were like two bucks each, and a couple of them might have been a buck. I think this torque driver was a buck, and I think this screwdriver over here was a buck. So let's take a look at what we got. We got an Exolite, and I probably shouldn't have bought this one. It's pretty beat up. Uh, number one Phillips, and uh, it's a USA. But uh, it's it's pretty beat up, and the tip, you know, it isn't the greatest. Not as good as I I remember it being, but whatever. All right, we got a, a number ten, Torx, and that one's in pretty good shape. A little rough. It needs some cleanup, but I think I can get this thing looking pretty darn good. So figure I'd snag that up. Couple of nut drivers here, USA Exolite, eleven thirty seconds. You know, not not in too bad a shape. We'll clean up pretty decent. Uh, number eight quarter inch. So again, something I think's got. See, yeah, it's got a couple chunks missing out of it, but you know, whatever. It's a nut driver. It still functions. Still a good driver. And we have a Stanley. And uh, I picked this one up because I don't have any Stanleys of this variety. The tips, you know, it's got a little bit of rounding on it. It's all right. But my favorite one is this on the end here. This is a nice little Vaco reversible Duh 4. And uh, I had to pick this thing up. It looks like it's brand spanking new. Look at that thing. Oh, pull that out. Got the flat head on the other side. It's got a little bit of a twist to it. So, yeah, a little bit of delamination on there. But it's not too, too bad. But, I mean, look at that handle. I, ha I had to get that thing. Had to. For a buck, I'll take it. So, happy about that. Let's get down to these wrenches and other stuff here. 
this is a auto kit and uh, I think those are made by Danielson and uh, I just like the, the little stamping on there little bat what have you and uh, whatever these were aimed for the auto industry so I figured I'd add that to my collection of auto tools and this one here is kind of interesting um, this is a USAG and that is an Italian company and this is a Durchrom not to be confused with Durochrome and uh, these are associated I guess with the Ferraris I believe so this is kind of a cool cool little wrench automotive related and I was two bucks and I think it said that one was two bucks too so you know a little pricey for roller open end wrenches but you know what the hey they were in good shape so I snagged them up and I got this one this was uh at the antique store and uh I just always grab these weird you know hook spanners and pin spanners um because I do come across these at work every once in a while. And, you know, if you break one of these, you can't just go to Home Depot and find one. You know, they you got to go to a specialty place to get something like this. You're probably going to have to order it and you're going to be down a couple of days. So I always pick these up when I find them. And I paid $8.95 for this. And, you know, you might think that's a lot. But, you know, go look at the... Go look at... Try to find one of these brand spanking new... You know, a USA made one. I don't know if I'm not sure if this SKF one was, is US made. If their if their wrenches are US made, uh, not sure. It doesn't say it on there, but uh, even just a spanner. Go try to find one of these. I don't think you're going to get one for under ten bucks. Probably not get one for under fifteen. So snag that up. And I also spied this nice little mirror, and this is an Allman. Ridgefield, Connecticut, A-2. I'm not going to flip it around and blind you, but little mirror. Uh, it's not a telescoping. doesn't extend or anything, so what you see is what you get. Uh, but three bucks, I'll take it. Definitely worth it. All right, and last but not least, I got these two little sockets over here, and these are a quarter each, but uh, they're older Craftsman um, single-line V. I got myself an 8mm and a 4mm. So, not bad. Really nice shape. Looks like that 8 was used once. Doesn't look like that 4 was used at all. So, cool. What do you think? Did I do good? 60 bucks roughly for all of this stuff? I don't know. I think I did. Okay. I really like those nut drivers. I don't know. They're probably worth five bucks, definitely. Um, I haven't really looked to see what they go for, but uh, what do you think? Did I do good? Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.